Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where today I'm going to show you how to make an easy red velvet poke cake. And we're going to be using this box mix right here to make it. And that's how it's going to be easy. The delicious part of it is going to be the yummy ingredients that's going to go inside of it. All right, y'all, if you're ready for this one, let's go. All right, y'all, the first ingredient you're going to need is a cake mix, the red velvet flavor. Now, this is a 15.25 ounce size box and you are going to need the ingredients that come on the back of your box. Now, a lot of the box mixes may be a little different, so just follow the ingredient list on the back of your box and that's what you'll need. On mine, it called for water, oil, and eggs. Then you're gonna need two boxes of cheesecake jello pudding mix. This is the instant variety, and these are 3.4 ounces each. You're gonna need eight ounces of Cool Whip, and I'm just using a tub here. And then you're gonna need four cups of milk, and then you're gonna need some Oreo cookies, probably around 10 to 12 of them. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started by making our cake mix. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is follow the instructions on the back of your cake mix box to make your cake from beginning to end, all right? Now, I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees, and then I'm going to lightly spray a 9 by 13 baking dish here. I'm going to set that off to the side. Alright, now I'm going to bring my bowl over here. And then just follow the instructions on the back of your box here. Alright, who likes red velvet? Who knows what red velvet is? So, red velvet is pretty much like a chocolate cake with a lot of red food coloring in it. So I'm just gonna pour this into my bowl here with my other ingredients that it calls for. One and a quarter cups of water. You see how that color is changing there? Half a cup of some cooking oil and then three eggs. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my hand mixer prepared here. You can stir this just in your bowl here with just a wooden spoon, or you can use your electric hand mixer, which I'm gonna do right here until it's all mixed up. Start pulling down your sides. We get a nice mix on everything. Oh, can y'all see the color of that? All right, we're gonna go ahead now and pour our batter into our nine by 13 prepared baking dish here. I'm gonna shake it down just a little bit. Get all those little air bubbles up. Saw a few of those come up. All right, everyone, I am ready to put this in my oven. Now make sure you are following the instructions on the back of your box of cake mix for a nine by 13 baking dish. Now, I'm gonna be putting mine in for about 30 to 35 minutes, and then we're gonna come back. All right, y'all, just make sure if you're new to my channel, you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification, you'll always know when my other shows are posted. I do have other poke cakes and lots of desserts out there, so I'll link them down in my description box below if you are interested. All right, my cake is out of the oven. I'll let it cool for about just two to three minutes. And then what we're gonna do is take something that has a, a hole on the end of it, maybe like the end of a wooden spoon or a straw, and I'm just using a big straw that comes off of one of our cups, and you're gonna start poking holes in your cake. And you wanna go all the way down to the bottom, and I'm probably gonna put four of them here, just like that. So 
All right, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is set this off to the side and then we're going to make the pudding mixture that's gonna go all into these holes in our cake here. All right, y'all, so to get started making our pudding mixture, we're gonna start with a large bowl and we're gonna add two packages of our cream cheese pudding mixture here. Instant variety, 3.4 ounce boxes. And put them both into our bowl here. Can you imagine the flavors we're gonna have? And then we're gonna add four cups of milk to this. All right, we're gonna take our whisk here and we're going to mix this very well until everything is incorporated. And we're looking for a kind of a pudding consistency, not too thick. We need this to be able to fill the holes, so. And since it's the instant variety, it is thickening up pretty fast anyway, so that's good. All right, this is the consistency that we're looking for right here, okay? It's almost a pudding, but not quite. We still want it to be runny so we can get it into the holes of the cake. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now, move this, put my cake here, and then we're gonna pour this all over the cake and make sure it goes into all of those little holes. Here we go. Now try to aim for the holes. All right, so I'm just gonna use an offset spatula here and then just smear it. I'm gonna be patting down as I go to make sure I can get that pudding all in those holes. All right, this is ready to go in the refrigerator for two hours. That will help set it up and solidify everything. I'm gonna pull it out and then we're gonna finish this off. All right, I'll be back. So my cake has been sitting in the refrigerator for two hours and no longer because we are not willing to wait. <laughs> we're ready for dessert. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our eight ounces of Cool Whip here and we're gonna cover our whole cake with it. So what I'm gonna do is take big tablespoons here of it and just kind of dot it around. You know, this is like a dessert on top of a dessert on top of a dessert. <laughs> All right, and now what you wanna do is take a spatula or your offset spatula, what I'm gonna be using here, and then just even it out all over very carefully. You don't wanna pull the, the pudding off of the cake there, so just be gentle. Take your time with it. All right. Now you're gonna take your Oreos. Now I gave the task to my husband to crush up around 10 Oreos. And this is what we got here. And I think a few whole Oreos went into his mouth. <laughs> I think he tried a few. He said they were good, so. All right, so you're gonna crush them up like this, and then you're gonna sprinkle those all over the Cool Whip. All right, you're just gonna do that until you think you have enough on there, which I think we do. You still wanna see the white of the cake. All right, what do y'all think? I'm gonna start cutting this cake so we can try a piece. All right, y'all, there's my red velvet poke cake. Look how delicious that looks. Those layers, oh, and those pokes right there with that pudding that went in there, the cream cheese flavor. All right, here's my fork. There's my bite. Did you see the Oreos on top? Oh, there we go. Almost lost ya. Mmm. <laughs> All right, y'all, if y'all bring that to Thanksgiving, 
Ain't nobody gonna be eating a turkey. <laughs> They're gonna wanna eat that right there. Mm. Very delicious, scrumptious, and I don't know, pick a word. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment down below. Don't forget my thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. And you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right. I'll see you on my next episode.